Hi, you guys. Oh, my God. I'm in. It took me a while because I realized my makeup color did not match my shirt. And it looks like it might not still match my shirt. How are you guys? Hi. I can't see anybody right now. Hi, y'all. Hi. Where is everybody? Okay, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Waiting. All right. There you are. Hi, guys. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Well, I've been disappeared for a while. It's boiling hot. Hi, it's Saturday night. I guess it's a holiday weekend, right? Didn't I hear that right? Holiday weekend. God knows what I'm wearing because, yeah, long story. But anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, literally, this is two-day-old makeup. Didn't even wash my face this morning after working out. I, wear, I slept in it. Wore it yesterday, woke up in it, put more on, slept in it, then got up and went running and was totally late because of a traffic jam. So I just jumped in the shower from the neck down, you know, and then put more makeup on, didn't wash my hair. So I kind of look bedraggled. Hi, you guys. Hi, you guys. Oh, my God. Where have I been? Yeah. I, well, you can't even imagine where I've been. I couldn't even tell you where I've been. Oh, my God. Right? Now, listen, listen, y'all, listen. I'm no longer the owner of that car. I'm now the owner of a new car. Yes, it was horrific, but yes, it's true. It's true, y'all. Um, yeah, how, how is everybody? Okay, yeah, you caught me. I knew you were going to show up tonight. Did you? Did you make me come? <laughs> did you make me come here? Oh, my God. Yes, exactly. Um, yeah, no, it ridiculous. I all I can, I can't even. I can't even talk about it. I think I'll have a nervous breakdown if I talk about it. But um yeah. So, you know who's been on the driveway with uh cayenne pepper, ammonia, bleach, vinegar, peppermint, sound things, spotlight. That's me. That's me. My neighbor came over and he's like what is this in the bushes? And I'm like, you just stepped on cayenne pepper, garlic, everything. I, I don't know. Yes. Well, I know, right? <laughs> I take a video every morning of my engine to check for evidence. So I know mentally the bears are okay. I'm not, I'm okay with the bears. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you're hilarious. I feel like a troll. I haven't even showered properly. Yeah, so anyway, it was, yes, I did the, oh my God, Dead Woman, Mount Baldy. Oh, I didn't even see that. Is that what the helicopters are there? John called me, told me about the helicopters at Mount Baldy, but then my friend Brent, he didn't tell me about that today. He did tell me there was a missing hiker last week. Is that the one you're talking about? Because they always go missing every winter. Let me see. Let me see who went missing Irish Spring. No, there's a great guy on YouTube. I'm going to call his channel out. You got to watch his videos. You got to watch his videos. Okay, so he has a farm. He has a farm and he does videos with the night camera on, on myths on how to get rid of rats. Seriously. And he doesn't have a lot of followers. He should. He did the Irish Spring video and he said no good. The rats ate the Irish Spring, y'all. Um, hold on. Let me find where I've been here. I got to look up the history on my... I don't even know how to do that. You know how I can't even stop the chat. Um, he's so... This guy was so good. I thought he was fabulous. I love him. I followed him. Now I can't remember the name of his channel. Oh, God, I'll have to post it. He was so good. He has a farm. Yes, he has a farm. And he puts like night night cameras in the barn and watches these rats. Me, I became obsessed with him the other night. <laughs> There's Tallulah, y'all. Um, hey, a gay fan from Houston, Texas. Woo! We have Gay Mark in Michigan. And then we have a gay fan in Texas. Y'all should meet. No, I think Gay Mark might have a boyfriend. He told me I could call him Gay Mark, by the way. I'm not calling him that okay i don't know where do you find the history on youtube let's google that let's google where your history where is your history button i don't know well that's what he says i can call him uh sammy the bull rat <laughs> i was gonna put the cat in the car but 
Then if she pees in the car, I'll go insane with the smell of cat pee. I'll go crazy. I can't do that. I, just, I can't. You can't put the cat in the car, right? Um, where is your history button on YouTube? I want to see where it is. I have to look. Oh, there. It's Gay Mark, and he's single. Gay Mark, there's a gay fan in Houston, Texas. If he's cute, we're on. Gay Mark is single, y'all. Why are you single, Mark? Gay Daniel right here. Slump. There's Daniel's gay. Look, why is Mark single? He's so cute. I've seen him. Not in person, but on his Instagram. Daniel's single too. There you are, Mark. <laughs> I'm like, I'm setting him up. <laughs> I'm like setting him up, you know? Find a date for him. Um, yeah, Mark is so lovely. He's all happy, cute, and, and handsome. Yeah, he's handsome. So y'all would like Mark. I like Mark. So, okay, hold on. What is this guy's name? I mean, the YouTuber, not Mark. I know who Mark is. Okay. Uh, where do you, do anybody know where you find your history on YouTube? Anybody know where the history button is on YouTube so I can tell you this? You do? Answer, answer. Can you change? Paul Walker's a good one. Library button. Thank you. Um, it's like I'm suddenly ridiculous. Um, yeah. So anyway, if I can't find it, look at this cat. She's ridiculous. Ah, yes. Anyway, it was... Super fun, y'all. Yeah, under your profile is history. Under my profile is history. Look, every day, it's like I'm stupid and can't get on here. <laughs> okay, I'm under my channel, dashboard, settings, feedback, blah, 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 blah. Not there. Just under my channel, right? Okay. Your channel. Okay, click the top right of your profile. Okay, top right. Thank you. I Okay, yeah, I was there, but I don't see history. Okay, we have, look at this. It's like I need some kind of class from a teenager because I cannot get it, right? Okay, so we have switch account, no, sign out. YouTube purchases your, your data in YouTube. Is that it? No, that's not it. Okay, playlist. Yeah, that's not it. Um, okay, I, I give up. I, it's like I cannot figure out. Okay, playlist. Home videos, maybe it'll show over here. Wait, let's see. I think I blocked it out a long time ago. Manage history. Okay, thank you. Let's look. I've got to get you. I told you about this guy. I've got to stop doing this. I get ADD and I'm like, fuck. Yeah, okay, playlist, videos, um, store. I can't see. I It gives me anxiety trying to figure. Oh, manage videos. Thank you. I found that. Okay, and then promotions, podcast, playlist, short live, blah, blah, blah. I don't have history anywhere showing. I can't even see it. I literally don't have history. Hmm. I can get it on my phone. Maybe it's on this phone. I can get it on my phone. I can never do it on the computer because something in my brain has a problem with it. Ouch. I'm twitching again. Library, but... I Wait, library button next to what, you guys? Okay, three buttons on the left-hand side. Oh, thank you. See that? All right, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't show me. It just shows me. It doesn't show me. I think I blocked what I watched or something. But let me look over here. Let me try to sign in. Yeah, I can't sign. I give up. Okay, forget it. Just type in the top corner far right. Type in the top corner far right. Yeah, switch account, appearance, theme. I, I literally don't see where to type in. I can see the four. I'm not that stupid, but wait, go to your left hand. When you see the three on the top, click and point under, you'll see it. No, I don't have it under that. I just did the three. Exactly what you said. And I don't have it. I literally don't have it. I don't have it on this one. I, I don't know why. I, I have no idea. I don't know, y'all. I can't think about it. I'll have a panic attack. Okay, so anyway, history on your left column. Scroll down. I did. I don't have it. I think I blocked it way back. Yeah, I don't have it. Oh, no. Hold on. No, it's not showing me. Let's see. 
Anyway, I'll have to post his link. He's fabulous. Fabulous. Subscriptions at the bottom. For, oh, subscriptions at the bottom. That's good. You said subscriptions. Look what I have to do with you guys. Like, this is such a waste of myself doing this because it's like I'm insane. All right, little convert. Wait, what did you say here? Convergence, pray for guidance. In a, Oh, in a little convergence. I'm praying. I don't see home subscribe. <laughs> I feel like I'm crazy, y'all. Okay, so what has everybody been doing? Let me tell you. YouTube settings, report. See, I the hell is my subscriptions i'm pushing that button subscriptions let's see okay um i don't these people i'm not subscribed to latest okay manage let's see manage okay Well, I found my subscriptions. I did follow him. I don't know that he's in it. Where's Anomaly been? I just see Anomaly there. I don't see my rat guy. Where's my rat guy? Awaken with JP. Y'all use him. I don't see my rat, bot, rat guy. Maybe I didn't prescribe. I'll have to post it, y'all. His videos were fabulous. Fabulous. So what works is peppermint. Okay, so long story short. Long story short. I know, I'm fucking annoying. I get it. And that's it. Yeah, I am annoying. And I'm twitching again. Ah, twitch. All right, so listen. Listen, y'all. So he put, um, <laughs> Awaken with JP is funny as shit. Um, prescribe, subscribe, whatever. Thanks for the super chat. Uh, click on you. I did all of that. I can't do it right now. I'm going to have a nervous breakdown. Okay, so anyway, he put sunflower seeds. Hi, Ashley. Ashley is out of the country somewhere. I'm not going to say where, but Ashley is a traveling. Ashley is a traveling. Yes, yeah, search barns, rats, and Irish spring. You are smart. I love you, Gabby. Gabby's smart. Smarter than Sloan tonight. I have such bad ADD right now, and I'm like having, quote, a manic ADD thing. Like, what? I got the same car as my old car, but a new version. Now, here's a weird story. So I went to the car dealership. I had talked about a month ago to a guy. This is a true story. I talked to a guy a month ago, called the car dealership, la, 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 all of that, right? And I'm not, I'm tweaking. Exactly. But I don't do drugs. So it's a fucking shame, right? Because you couldn't handle me on drugs. No one can handle me. on <laughs> Alberta. Yeah, Canada. Okay. So listen, this guy, I call him up and I'm like, do you have this car in this color? La, la, la. And he goes, rat guy, Sean Woods, you know him. That's him. Thank you. Oh, my God. I love you. There. Yes. Google him. Follow him. He's got great rat videos for anybody in my predicament. Um, Yeah. So he does uh, how high can mice jump? He does a bunch. Mint, does mint oil really repel rats? In his video, yes. Follow him if you have an infestation because his videos are great and I love his little night camera and you can see the rat's beady little eyes. <laughs> beady. They're beady in the dark and the rat's like, <laughs> like this. It's pretty funny. Um, his name is Sean Woods. Like woods, like in the woods. This is his channel. You guys, Hit this guy up. He's good with rats. See? Look at that. Look. His whole channel. His whole channel is about rats. <laughs> it's so good. I was watching the videos. I, yeah, I should be on shrooms. Rat man. No, it was hilarious. I was like, okay, Irish spring. So I threw out like six bars of Irish spring. I'm like, that's not gonna, they hate peppermint. I have peppermint everywhere. Everywhere everywhere in my car everywhere <laughs> everywhere live show about rat repellents yeah exactly no you don't know you just don't know what i went through with them and then um so they doing a rat abatement or whatever but i talked to a whole bunch of people and in fact i talked to a realtor today and he's like you would be surprised how many rats i see in houses i'm selling i'm like what and he's like their la is fucking infested. Now I'm twitching again with rats. So I can't, I've been twitching for a month. Anyway, that's ridiculous, crazy. Now I want to tell you another story. So 
I'm looking for somewhere to, you know, be closer to baby metal, right? So I'm talking to people. It might not happen now. Peppermint oil. I bought these things on, <laughs> now I'm back on the peppermint. I bought these round things online and you turn them, you turn them like this and then you put them under your hood and then I have a blinking light. It makes a sound. So you, I, I check my, excuse me, hood twice a day. I now back into my parking spot. I open the hood so it cools down and then I put a spotlight out there and I fucking go around spraying with peppermint before I come in the house because I'm mental at this point with it. Um, yeah, see your brother, Diana, does your brother not know about these rats? What does your brother say? Tell us, Diana. Yeah, no, yeah, no. A blinking light, electric blinking light thing in the car. Sponsor peppermints. Yeah, sponsor peppermints, right? What sponsors peppermints? No, I bought them. Let's see, I'm obsessed with peppermint. <laughs> um, no, it's it's peppermint for rats. It's mixed with garlic. Carmen, been talking to Carmen today. Not gonna say about what, but I'm happy to talk to Carmen. Um, he tells how to get rid of raccoons too. Yeah, I don't have a problem with those yet, but when I lived in Burbank, we had a problem with possums and raccoons. Um, yeah, I can't put cats out here. I would, I would let Lou go outside and I would let her go after. She's right there. She really would want to go outside, but, um, yeah, lavender. I have all, I, all of that shit, but, uh, there's cougars out back and bears. So I'm like, I don't want her to get hurt. Raccoons and possums, they're super cute. Yeah, we, uh, going? <laughs> no, I go around. I have cayenne pepper all over my driveway. Like my driveway is red with cayenne pepper. Mm -hmm. Who's the, pa oh, this, one of my clients painted this for me from Keith at Christmas. Isn't it beautiful? And the other painting Bobby did. The one over there is all right there. So it's Keith and me and Keith. And I don't know the young woman who did the one of Keith when he was young, but the young Keith and the older Keith are from his memorial card. And that lady painted me. And there's a little face picture of Keithy in the middle of it. It's so beautiful. And then that drawing of Keithy. You guys were so nice. Like all these artists are just wonderful. Um, yes, I'm sure raccoons and possums eat rodents. But I haven't seen them because of the cougars and the bears. <laughs> so the rats are the ones that are around here. It's fucking crazy, right? Dryer sheets. Yes, they say dryer sheets do. Did G did DJ screw him? I have. Oh, do. Okay. Anyway, yeah. Um, it's a beautiful painting, isn't it? So beautiful. Um, Bobby is unbelievably talented. The Super Bowl is always a ritual. Okay, first of all, Travis, whatever his name is, with Taylor, whatever her name is, okay? How about gnats, though? <laughs> I don't mind the gnats. Those fuckers don't... I've got ants and rats. I told you I was driving my car. I went up to... I went up north to go hiking. And I had, you know, all of my pole clothes, my aerial clothes, and I had them in, like, um, a suitcase and bags. Uh, meaning I take them out for the class and I just run into class because I'm always late. My yoga mat, all of that. No food, no food. And I took the water out. You guys, you guys, I'm driving, I'm pulling up. I'm just on my phone texting my friend to get out of the car. And guess what? Rat in the trunk. Rat in the trunk. He was moving. So I pop out of the car. I throw everything upside down. I have a nervous breakdown. <laughs> they don't care. These bitches don't care, but they're not getting in this car because it's protected. We got, oh, diet espresso. No diet, just espresso. Um, yes. So I got the holy water. I got, yeah, St. Charles in the Valley got the holy water. So the holy water. Yes, yes. Seriously, in the name of Jesus, amen, that fucking animals will not get around my shit. <laughs> it was, yes, and I, but here's the thing. I have a hatchback. So if they're in my trunk, they can crawl over the back seat and get to the front seat. Do you know what I'm saying? So I literally went cuckoo in my head, like cuckoo, and um, had a nervous breakdown. And so there you go. So now the driveway is covered in red pepper, um, <laughs> red pepper. I told you about the cockroach in the rental car. Did I tell you about that? Yes. 
the fucking Danny Masterson's guilty. What do you mean? What are my thoughts about that? He's a mind controlled MK altered Scientologist, AKA Satanist. Yes. Veramint. I've got that all over the driveway too. No, I was having panic attacks. I started sobbing, sobbing Ugh! like that crying. I'm not afraid of the bear. I'm not afraid of cougars. I'm not afraid of coyotes. I'm not afraid of lion. Um, I mean, not lions, deers with antlers. None of those. Okay. None of those. Yeah, it's just, of course, there was something coming after me. All these bitches, P. Diddy being the bitch from hell. Yeah, they throw shit at you. You know this. Um, oh, you know how they get in a car? You want to know what they do? Okay, you want to know? No, Jay-Z isn't going to divorce Beyonce. You want to know how they get in, the in, the, in your car? Because all car makers, all car makers from 20, 2002 onward, they start, <laughs> I am a cougar hustle man. That's right. Except I don't date. So that's impossible. But um, I'm a rat in Chinese. Well, I'd rather have you in my trunk, Susan, than the fucking rat. <laughs> I can handle Susan because she'd probably come up with some cinnamon buns and some coffee from the trunk. She'd be like, hi. And she'd be, we could have fun. Not the rat. The rat is not fun. But they come for the heat. So like they come, yes, Jay-Z and Beyonce and Rihanna Illuminati. Yes, 100%. They, Carmen's a pig. Keithy was a pig. Um, and they come in under under the engine. If you look, I looked at my new car because I do engine patrol. You know, I'm, I'm now a nut job. And there's holes in the bottom to let the water out. So when you let the water out, guess what? The rats can come in. And it was eco-friendly wiring. What do they make this eco-friendly wiring? Hi, Mexico City, Jessica. Um, what do they make this eco-friendly eco wiring out of? What, you say? Yeah, peanut oil, soybean oil, and coconut oil. So like metal monkey, that's what Jason is, Amanda. That's what Jace is. Yeah, so that's what they, soy, um, coconut, and... Um, peanut oil. So like, yeah, it was over 10,000 for me. Unbelievable. Walk to Lula on a leash. <laughs> yes, that's what they do. And here's the other thing. Once they find a way into your house, your car, your, your SUV, your blah, 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 whatever, right? Your camper. Then they leave their pee scent everywhere. Everywhere. And once they pee and mark their surroundings, then their fucking friends know. Yeah, they're friends. So it's like a bunch of hoarders. Oh, it's like a bunch of, I'm going to be really ignorant here. Do not message me and tell me I'm being fucking ignorant. Okay, do not do that. It's a rat chased me once when I was a teenager. <laughs> yeah, mothballs work, but I'm not putting uh, a pregnant cat. Did Oh, God. See, yeah, fire snake, Sagittarius, double fire sign. Tracy, I'm a triple fire sign, fire horse. So, you know, I can't calm down. But anyway, um, year of the dragon. Yeah, everybody, this is your year, year of the dragon. Um, but uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So when we open the border and we let all of these people across who take up. Now, here's a question for you. On these um, hotels where... I'm just going to speak about Governor Nutjob Newsom, okay, bro cream man. I'm going to ask you. So the, the border's open, right? So my mom said toothpaste on the engine. I'm down for that. It smells like mint. There you go, Christy. It smells like mint. Um, so we let all of these people across the border. And don't come at me, okay? Don't come at me and say, they should have a right to come here too because you can't get into India. You can't get into Africa. You definitely are not getting into North Korea. So shut the fuck up. You're not even getting into Canada, okay? I'm from Canada and they block me at the border. I have to go through a whole bunch of shit. But Bozo the Clown in the White, in the white House, okay? If you voted for him, stop. Don't tell me. Don't do it again. Anyway, Bozo in there, he's like, open the, so ask yourself, ask yourself, okay? Ask yourself, why, what is the motivation for that clown in office to open our borders so the rats can come across into our neighborhoods? And then Bozo Biden says, 
You should have them New York City live in your house. Fuck you. No, do not house these people. You don't know who they are. You don't know what they have. They are like rats, which ones are carrying disease, and they put them up in the four-star, five-star hotels, right? I have Canadian arrogance. Do I? Yeah, fuck that. Am I in Canada? I think I've been in America for 40 years, but all right. Yeah, they're illegal immigrants, Canadian arrogance. No Canadian has Canadian arrogance. They know they're in the communist country. They're in fucking China over there. They know it. Um, but ask yourself, ask yourself what the motivation is for putting these people up in hotels. Now, they are unwashed, unhoused, according, now we have to call them unhoused. You're fucking homeless, okay? And so they will do every, the key word is illegal, correct? So they have all kinds of problems when the maids go in to tell us, okay, the maids are telling us on TV, on online, that the rooms are so filthy that they're afraid they're going to get right, raped and they're afraid that they're going to catch something and they don't know what's in the bathtubs and the people do their drugs and shit like that, right? So are you as a tourist going to go out? Are you as a tourist going to go out and sleep in those hotel rooms after those people slept in them? I'm not. I'm not doing it. I'm not getting bed bugs. And if an Airbnb, a hotel... And any of these people, what you should ask before you sign in, what you should ask is, did you house these illegal people? And then you should block their fucking business because they took money from the government in order to overthrow this country because American veterans and Americans who love this country will never fight against the own, its own people. So if our government tells them to fight against us because we're going to step out of fucking bounds... They're not going to do it because they are American citizens and they have respect for us as people. So who doesn't have respect for us? Every other country in the world, including Canadians, hate Americans. So what do they do? They bring in middle, middle aged, like 30 to 50 year old men into this country, not little kids. And where are the little kids? Oh yeah, they're being trafficked, okay, for sex, domestic and adoption. And don't tell me they're fucking not. So when they start a civil war here, and they will, okay, when they start a fucking civil war, all of these illegals don't give two shits about this country. Clearly, clearly because they can't even keep their hotel rooms clean while they're being given free hotel. You're a proud veteran. You should be, Joe. That's what I'm saying. You would never turn on the American people. You would not fight us. And they know that in government, okay, because you fought other countries to preserve our freedom here. So you're not going to fight us in turn to take away our freedom away from us like the government wants. So who do they get to do that? A bunch of fucking weird people from across the border. And you should be proud veterans. The be the veterans, why? I I'm just, I'm so, I'm so curious. I'm so curious. I'm so curious why they don't give the veterans these hotel rooms and these weirdos from outside. And I'm calling them weirdos. I'm not saying everybody doesn't want to come here. But why the fuck are they giving those people, okay, why, the, why are they giving those people and not our veterans help? Ask clown face in the government there. Ask him that. Why are our, yes, thank you for your service, Joe. Absolutely, total respect for veterans, 100%. That wasn't my point in bringing it up. My point in bringing it up was that a veteran who fought for this country is not going to turn on, Amer turn as in fight, the people in this country. They're never going to do it because they have character and morals. I mean, if someone's a psychopath, yeah, we're, I'm not talking about that. But it, it's very strange that we, it's not humanitarian. It's not. They're, 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 I can't. I will never stay in those hotels. They broke New York. I will never go there and stay in those hotels. I will not do that. Yeah, we have homeless vets here. And I'm not talking about the homeless vets here either. Um, yeah, I just did my nails this week. Before I go to fire camp, they're going to be neutral again when I hit fire camp. Oh, it's definitely a Jenna for an inside civil war, 100%. Now, I'm going to tell you something else I learned that ties into the agenda. Here's the other thing. So I'm out looking for places and, you know, I have, you have to show your bank records, your, um, what is it, taxes, all of that's good, except for my credit. 
So I have some stuff that went through the divorce that I had to drop because I couldn't pay everything because, you know, Keith died and all of that. So, and there's a Verizon bill on there, which isn't mine because I paid all the phones up and everything. I just stopped the service because they were outrageously overpriced from what they had said. So they were erroneous on the contract. But so shit like that, that I'm not going to pay because I don't owe that. I paid them outright. Now, here's what I was told. I went to this one brand new um, apartment complex and it was really nice not like really nice but nice clean okay new how about that clean and new no rats no people underground parking no rats right i'm thinking i'm fucking thinking but who really knows so i fill out everything i've got enough money to qualify here you have to have three times the amount of rent so if your rent's 1500 triple it three times right so you so you know, whatever, my bank account showed I could handle the rent and it wasn't a high rent. So they get my credit report back and they go, do you have a co-signer? And I'm like, no, I'm a grown ass adult. I told you this. So I'm like, that's ridiculous. I can't do a co-sign. Like, no, I didn't do that at 14 when I ran away. No, I'm not doing a co-signer, right? So when I was leaving that building after they had asked me that, there was this woman and she had, it's so weird. She had a dog <laughs> and that's why I paid attention to her. And she came out of a, yeah, co-signer with the money going through my bank. I, it was just very fucking weird. I had everything else. Anyway, this woman, there's no way that I could just tell by looking at her that she could qualify that way. I can't explain it. Call it a psychic kit. So then I go to, a, I go to another place. Okay, and keep in mind, I'm not going to a good area of town. I'm going to kind of a ghetto area of town, brand new apartment. And I talked to the guy, he goes, but your credit's bad. Do you have a cosigner? And I'm like, I do not have a cosigner, right? And then they're like, well, then we're going to have to get triple deposit. Now, I'm a little bit hesitant with triple deposit because if you find anything wrong with me, you have way too much of my money that I can't get back, right? Okay. Fine and dandy. So then I go to a cute little guest house and the people liked me, okay? The people liked me and it, like meaning they, they told the realtor that they liked me and then they looked at my credit and said, do you have a cosigner? So to two of these places, I offered six months of rent up front. Six months up front, okay? They wouldn't take it. So then John's looking through the paper and he's like, there's a place down the freeway, far from my house where I am now. Anyway, and he says, it's like a modular home. They're not trailer parks, but they have land and they're like prefabbed homes, okay? So we drove by to look because there were like five of them for sale. So I'm like, and they're pretty cheap as in you could pay the same as renting something and own it. And then it could be for Jason and Kenna and something later on, Lila, whoever. So I thought it would be good. Like maybe I could do rent to own for a year, own something, whatever. So we pull up. I talked to the realtor with that. Now I'm going to tell you a point. So I'm talking to this lovely realtor. The girl at the association there gave me this really, really nice realtor's name. So I call her up and I'm like, hey, I was interested in this. And she said, yeah, if you don't have your credit, if you don't fucking have your credit over 650, like, Mine was like 630. So if you don't have it at 650, you can't get in, right? And I'm like, but technically, what if I pay this amount, la la la, okay? So she says to me, listen to me. She says to me, she says, but if you have section eight, she actually used the word HUD. Do you hear me? HUD. So if I'm on the government scam, then I can get in all of these fucking places. I don't have to have, um, yes, I don't have to have a job the same way. I don't have to do this. I've, I pay off all my credit cards. I don't like having credit. They're paid off um, because of your channel and you say what you do. <laughs> I was like, yeah, no, seriously. So when I saw the woman with the dog, it made sense that she's on HUD. I saw, hi, Ashley. I saw a place was 
$3,000 a month, which I'm not going to pay for that. But this other place, this is like a sixth place. And it was really nice. It was in the woods and it had a beautiful this and it was like 800 square feet. Blah, blah, blah. It said section eight accepted. Fuck you government. So you will accept people who come to the government's for fucking crap instead of people who work and pay their bills. I bought my house by rent only. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's rigged totally for the people on the government dole. Now, here's why. Why do they want you taking EBT and fucking snap cards and this and that and all of that? Why do they want you doing that? Because you can make more money than working. Most people, like by the time you pay a babysitter and whatever, la, 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 to watch your kid, right? Sounds like Canada. Anthony, I escaped Canada. You owe me some butter tarts, baby. <laughs> Anthony, you don't owe me anything. Um, but anyway, what's insanely bizarre is, aw, uh, thank you, Ashley. Um, what's extra Section 8. Yeah, Section 8. But here's the thing. Remember David Icke and remember Agenda 2030. Remember, okay? You will own nothing and you will be happy. So when you take Section 8, you own nothing. You have to fill out all their forms because you're the government's bitch. You are a government bitch. They offer free daycare if you're on SNAP and EBT. Because they want to, if you if you fucking take that, you don't get it. They're trying to control you. Work your ass off and don't take handouts. Pregnant women I never have a problem with, but where's the fucking father? The fucking father work and pay. It is your fucking child, okay? I'm sorry. Um, so government slave. That's what, So I'm being punished because I don't take that shit. And my credit, your credit score, remember on Black Mirror, like that's their agenda. So they have all of these people. They're going to give them housing. They're, let's see, daycare for my kids costs more than my mortgage. Yeah, it does cost more. That's why technically they destroyed the home. You parents, grandparents should all chip in for that. That's what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to be taking money for your kids because your kid, you're prostituting your kid. If you actually take money from the government for your kid, you're using a kid as a way to pay your way. Pay your way. I don't care if you have to struggle, pay your way. Get your family, whoever. Friends, I help friends. Just do whatever you can. Yeah, they want you dependent. I understand there are moments in your life but you know what's funny? When I was homeless, I couldn't get any fucking help. When we were, listen, I will tell you, back after Jimmy died, when we were, I'm talking years ago, it's been 27 years ago, actually, um, 27 and a half years ago, there was a point when we didn't have much money and I defaulted on the mortgage $150 and I didn't get it in the mail and, ch and on the check quick enough and it defaulted like it was a day late they put it into foreclosure they put our house into foreclosure for a hundred and fifty dollars before the law changed in 2006 and we were devastated like we couldn't function right so I had postpartum and Jimmy had died and John couldn't function and Jason was a baby and all of that so at that time if I had been on section eight they couldn't have done it what is that? Like I lit that really happened. I had to pay 4,000 back in legal fees. My friend, Cla I had one of my friends, Claudette and one of my friends, Dylan lent me money. They all lent me money. I had like six friends that lent me money. Each of them lent me like five, six, $700 at a time. And I paid all of them back so that I could pay that like that. Like we were devastated. I, we did. I mean, what? And that, that is truly something that happened. They changed that law. Like if you owe, you have to go, and it was, it was actually for dues on something else, but you have to go $1,080 behind before they can put you into foreclosure. So no, I was grateful. These were all my hiking friends that helped me. It was just amazing. And I mean, let me, let me see. I'd let you borrow my 790 credit score. My <laughs> good thanks. I, you know, I'm building it. Um, it's just, yeah, everybody has situate. Now, I'm not being ignorant. You cannot take government money your whole life. You cannot do that unless you're brain dead. And if you have a brain injury, then you can, but you can't. We all have to take care of ourselves. That's what people don't understand. And I'm not talking about people with mental illness, vets who come back who have post-traumatic, terrible stress. I'm not talking about those people. 
people who've had strokes are vegetables after, ex I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about your able-bodied fucking ass, okay, for you to get up and fucking work. And I'm being serious. At 14, I had to work. Nobody fucking paid for me. Literally, at 14. My own family, when I begged them, just hung the phone up, okay? So I learned right then, don't take shit from anybody and work. Take care of yourself the best as you can. And you don't have a right to stay on the welfare system your entire life. That's energetically flawed because it tells people that you have an issue. Does the sound keep cutting out? Does the sound keep cutting out, you all? Thank you for that. Does the sound keep cutting out? I don't know. Let me check. Hold on. Trolls got me. I just went to check. I'm on, I'm on the thing. Okay, can you hear me? Okay. So I'm sorry. Yes, everyone has situations. I absolutely understand it, but I don't, I, I, and in fact, when you need food, I had a friend and her husband got cancer. She didn't work. She was a stay at home mom. She tried everything just to get food. Okay. Like they had enough money to pay the rent and everything, but the food was a problem. She made too much, but not enough. What's that about? What's that about? I'm just asking. And let's see, is credit card debt? I think they want you in debt. They like that. So it's uh, welfare is not a job. It's not a job. And I'm sorry. I understand. Trust me. I understand. Okay. Do you think it was easy to come back on and, and like work and do readings after my son died? It wasn't. I totally understand. John went to work after his son died. Okay. But obviously you can't hold up the amount of work like that. But you are responsible to contribute. So what they've done is they've now said in this apartment, this, this beautiful like 38 unit apartment building, brand new, HUD is accepted, Section 8 on the, on the ADU in the country on horse property, we accept Section 8. Horse property. No one's entitled to a fucking horse, right? Like why is the Section 8 moving there? And they're doing, I hit rock bottom with my situation. Yes, there you go. Anthony, Anthony, you went through terrible stuff. Yes, exactly. No, seriously. I don't think like, it's weird. I mean, obviously, I, let's see, they base it off your gross income, money you don't even get. Yeah, I, what What do they base off? It's, it's ridiculous. But I just realized with the realtors that I talked to, yes, Agenda 2030, Agenda 2030, okay, Agenda 2030 is, look up David Icke before he got booted out of every country and kicked off the internet with his 5 million followers, government money is guaranteed, but I'm not a government slave and I'm not going to do that, so I'll work until I'm 90 if that's what I fucking have to do, and I'll work the way I want to work, when I want to eat, I'll work, that's how I'll do it, it's disgusting, okay? It's disgusting. David Icke, look up Agenda 2030. Everything they're doing. You will live in sectioned cities. This is Lahaina, Hawaii. Sectioned cities, right? Everyone on Section 8. Uh, be, wait, hold on. What did you say? Be careful. Not everyone. I, I'm not saying, listen to her. I'm not saying that. I said, don't come for me with those comments. Everybody on everything is not everything, okay? Every psychic isn't a fucking freak. Okay, most are off, all right? A lot of people scam. So I'm one of them. I totally understand why people say it. You can judge by my character that I'm not that person. I'm assuming if you're on section eight and I have been homeless more than once as a teenager and nobody fucking helped me, okay? They just fucking scoffed and walked over me, all right? They'd have preferred it if I was dead on the sidewalk and I'm convinced of that. So I couldn't get help. I had to learn how to get help. I understand that the Section 8, if you have a reason for it, I do not understand charging the rent that they're charging in a brand new building with working professionals who have under 650 score for no particular reason other than they went through a divorce or something like that, right? So I do not understand offering it to Section 8 first or HUD, okay? I don't. I'm sorry, I don't. I don't. I just don't. I don't. Hive cities, exactly. I don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. They're, oh my God, 3,800 in the Bronx. Jesus, do they want you to move in an illegal alien crossing the border? Oh my God. I can't. I can't. I can't.
If I can't check out the shaking, I just miss that. Eco-friendly is bad. <laughs> yes, eco-friendly is bad. But they, you don't understand. The, the car companies are forced by the legislators to change the wiring to 44, three for three bedroom here. Wow, fuck, wow. Yeah, ghetto projects, exactly. And it's terrible, okay? It's terrible. It's horrific. horrific. I'm just going to say I need to, I need to be, I don't have to do anything. I want to be close to Meadow. I'm a little bit far. I'm driving way too much if I go to see baby Meadow. So I want to make sure I'm there for my grandkids in rascal pants in Meadow. So yeah. And you know what they're doing in LA? Oh my God. Oh, Santa Monica. They are taking away, I'm not putting my glasses on. No, I never put them on. They are taking away the driving lanes and putting more fucking bike lanes because that's what we need. And here's their motivation for it. I just want you to hear this. There are too many people. It's not free money. It's my money. I'm paying taxes. It's not fucking free money. Any person who pays taxes, okay, anybody, it's our money. It's our money we're paying while other people are taking and not contributing to that, to that. Anyway, that's true. It's your tax money. It's not free jack shit. It's your money, right? Um, shaking my head productions. It is your money. Um, making a mother-in-law. Hold on, hold on. Uh, at your house. Not not a problem. A, a mother-in-law unit, not a problem. I have no problem with that. I am trying to get closer to my kids. My kids scream and run away from it, but nonetheless, but here's the agenda. Okay, so they're taking the city streets out in California and they're telling you, ride a bike. Nobody's riding a bike on the California streets in 120 degree heat in the valley with the homeless people in the trailers and the rats and the food trucks, okay, back it up, er, screech back up, food trucks, okay, so when me and John, well, John's family owned a restaurant and a bar, okay, so I ran the restaurant, I hated it, and I quit, he rented out the space, I told him, we're gonna end up in a fist fight if I have to do this, <laughs> um, but anyway, so for like 30 something years, he owned a restaurant in the valley, this was on top of it, right, we went through health inspections. We went through um, like your rating A, B, C, or D, and you have to kiss the ass and you have to go for meetings and you have to get scolded and you have to get your liquor license, like 150,000 for that and the this and the that and everything else. So just let me ask you this. I went to get our friend Johnny a taco on a particular taco truck this for lunch because he was fixing some stuff at the house. And so I want to put a card in, right? And they're like cash only. So not only do these trucks not have bathrooms, so ask yourself, where are they going to the bathroom? I don't have my microphone. I'm going to use a pen. I'm going to use the cleaner. Where are they going to the bathroom? Are they going to the bathroom in a bucket in the truck? Yeah, I'm just fucking asking where they're going to the bathroom. I want to know. Where are they going to the bathroom? Where are they washing their hands? I'm just asking. And they are literally taking cash only. So I'm supposed to do everything by the book. My friends that currently own restaurants are supposed to do everything by the books while these fucked up trucks are right across the street. Like, I'm sorry, you're allowed. And yes, LA is doing that. Gavin Newsom is doing that. Legislation number one or section one on the up on the voting Okay, is it this fucking idiot that runs our, our state and he is an idiot and Nancy Pelosi is an asshole and clown face in the White House is a jerk off. Having said that, Newsom wants to, anybody in California who votes, go and, yeah, for motorcycles, yes, but not for bikes. <clears throat> Listen, you cannot stop car, it's not that. We have bike lanes all over the valley and nobody's in them except for the meth heads that are carrying trailers with dogs in them. If you've been down Lakeview Terrace and stuff, you know what I'm talking about. Anyhow, <laughs> and you gotta give them credit, they're still walking, right? So you've got Gavin Newsom, you've got Gavin Newsom doing, asking for money for the homeless for California. 
Okay, first of all, the homeless are not going to stay in the hotel rooms. They wreck them, they destroy them, they continue to do drugs. They have enough money. They took billions from us. Do not vote that. I hate Newsom. He is a vampire. He's a, I see more electric. Okay, here's a fucking question for you. How are they allowed to ride those electric scooters when my fucking 12-year-old granddaughter can't go out on a skateboard without a helmet on and a bunch of pads on her arm? Like, my kids used to get tickets for not wearing helmets on their skateboards. But when you pull out a motorized scooter, you don't have to have a helmet on so you can hit the ground. Come on. Come on. I bet you he's related to Trudeau. Bet you. Yeah, I doubt they have everything. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. All I know is that when you rent a space and you do it by the book, since when, and 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 by the way, if you're in Los Angeles, <laughs> yoga beds, if you're in Los Angeles and you go down in Pacoima and everywhere down there, they don't even have trucks. They have grills, like, like they say Tijuana is, okay? Like they say Tijuana is, only Tijuana is much better than LA. So they want to destroy us. And LA is going down quick. Um, taco. <laughs> taco. Anyway, yeah, San Diego is going down. They're all going down. They're all going down. They have to be related, those two idiots. They should ask Scientology for money. And here's a question, Oprah, Oprah. Here's a question, Oprah, you asshole. You have $250 million dollars. You and that bitch, The Rock, he's your bitch, right? Like you fuck him up the ass with a strap on. Yeah, I actually said that. Why don't you two assholes go to Hawaii and take your money together and help the people of Lahaina or however you say that? Why don't you do that? Oh, that's right. You want to steal the land for your cities. Yeah. So um, there's that. Yeah, why don't those two bitches go down there and give their money? Right, Pacific. I, I just, I can't. I don't know what to say. Oprah's an asshole. She is a complete and utter asshole. Hi, I'm Oprah. I'm an asshole. Yeah. Yeah, she has a strap on. You know that bitch has a strap on. That bitch has a strap on and she's fucking that guy up the ass. That's right. You heard what I said. I'm in that kind of mood. But, and the funds went missing because they, they, they did it. They absolutely did it. Handler, exactly. I know what she is, but she's not that powerful because guess what? Stupid Oprah is going to cross out of her physical one day and she's going to have to see it and she's trying to avoid it. And she's not going to be able to avoid it because that has strappy strappy. <laughs> no, I'm serious. They are trying, I'm sorry, but Stedman, Stedman's gay as a blade, or as they say, he ain't into her. He, yeah, do weapons, you're right. He's not into her. He's not into her. I mean, Orca, yeah, he's not into her. She's just such an asshole. She's such an asshole. I, I don't know what to say. She's such an asshole. She's like, uh, uh, uh. she's such an asshole. Um, I don't think Jay-Z and Beyonce are divorcing. He needs her because he's her pimp. He married her, but that's her pimp. He pimps her out. Stedman and the Rock. That's how she fucks him up the ass. She uses Stedman's dick. Got it. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. Right? Oh, my God. Anyway, yeah. I'm just saying, why aren't they giving their money there, right? Why aren't they doing that? Why aren't they doing it? Why do they want your money? Why? Oh, God. Oh, my God, y'all. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. So you remember Anthony Weiner? I'm going on another tangent here. You remember Anthony Weiner? Because somebody really named him that, Anthony Weiner. So like, we can't change our last name. We're just going to call ourselves the Weiner family. <laughs> ah! Anyway, remember Anthony Weiner, state, whatever, Congress dude in uh, New York. I think it was New York. Married to Uma Abedin, Hillary's lover. Hillary, the lesbian. Pantsuit Nation lady that was... First lady of the White House with Billy, Billy boy over there. Right. So Anthony Weiner gets caught jacking off or touching his dick or whatever with an underage girl, right? So obviously Uma's heartbroken given what she does with Oprah and the children. So guess who she's dating? Guess who she's dating? 
guess who Uma is dating? Because Anthony Loser Wiener, like her choice in men is atrocious, but it just tell yeah, frazzled, fra, fra, yes, exactly. So guess who she's dating? George Soros's son, Frazzle Drip, exactly. Guess who she is dating? Soros's son. Yes. Fuck them. Exactly. No, not Bradley Cooper. <laughs> Ranky, you're cracking me up. Throw Bradley Cooper in it. That bitch, Bradley Cooper. Soros's kid. Yeah. Uma is evil. Hillary is evil. Pantsuit Nation is evil. No Pantsuit Nation. Just say no to Pantsuit Nation. <laughs> Just say no. Uh, I know, right? Perfect for each other. Just say no, Pantsuit Nation. My head is like this. It's ridiculous, y'all. I don't have... Oh, my God. Wait, let's talk. Yes, well, it has to be money. No, Pantsu Nation. Remember when those losers tried to say... I, You know I go crazy. Like I'm like, what kind of bitch wears a pantsuit? You know who does? A lady with cankles. And no offense to people with cankles. Because I just think... I think Hillary has cankles all the way down. Oh, I know. Bill? Bill. Like, and their kid... I'm sorry, I don't like to speak about people's kids, but you all are some gorgeous people and that kid got married. I'm just saying, I don't understand. I have clients that are stunning and they can't get dates, but apparently Hillary Clinton can get, I mean, uh, what's her name, can get married. <laughs> Whatever. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. So yeah, Kankles Clint. I don't know what to say. I just can't. I can't. And I am going to go insane. Insane. Oh my God. The other bill is for Garcon. If you're in LA, vote Garcon out. That's our, um, what do we call him? I guess, is he the district attorney? But anyway, Officer Stacy, homicide detective Stacy, who was friends with Keithy and Jason and us growing up, she cannot testify against rape cases and shit because Garcon lets them out of jail. She catches them, brings the evidence out, spends her time in court trying to convict people's murderers and rapists against their families, usually in the poorer communities. And this Garcon clown, Garcon, that clown, he lets them the fuck out. And yes, he's in the club or he wouldn't be there. Seriously. So what's wrong with cankles? Nothing, unless they're on Hillary Clinton and you're forcing me to wear a pantsuit nation. I'm going to say this again. George Soros, okay, has been kicked out of three or four different countries, European countries, and George Soros, for, for undermining the government, and George Soros, okay, yeah, Garcon, your gas, uh, Gascon, thank you, Gascon, <laughs> Garcon, Gascon, whatever the fuck his name is. That guy, Garcon, Gascon, I can't, I can't, Gas, Gascon. Yeah, I can't keep their names straight. I want to punch them in the face. Um, But when you look at it, George Soros was the one that funded the Pussy Hat, Mar the Pussy Hat March, okay? So what are cankles? I can't explain it to you. Google cankles and you'll see. It's when you have really thick ankles all the way up your legs. So you don't have an ankle bone definition, which can be genetic. I mean, if it's genetic, it's fine. But that doesn't mean I need to wear a pantsuit because you have that. Bitch, pantsuit nation. Um, So ankle nation, bad. No, I have a problem with it. But that's my personal thing. It doesn't matter. Do what you want. But here's another thing. Calf to, can calf to ankle, cankle. Thank you. That's what I mean. Yeah. Um, okay, so cankles are fat ankles. Everybody's answering him. <laughs> I love you guys. You're like, I'm gonna take this question seriously. Yes, edema. And it can be uh lipedema and edema, absolutely. But Hillary Clinton wanted us all to wear pantsuits because she wants us all to be whatever, like her. And no, ow, twitch, twitch, twitch. Okay, so. George Soros funded the Pussy Hat March. A million women wearing vagina hats. How, like, seriously, with ears? I'm a pussy cat. You're wearing a vagina hat. Dictated to you by George Soros, 
who is trying to overthrow, I know what he does. That's why he looks like he does. Overthrow the American government. And they keep telling you, they keep telling you, I didn't do it. I didn't do I had friends that did it. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Um, yeah, I'm sure Hillary is a man. She still has cankles and I'm not wearing a fucking pantsuit. Yes, a pantsuit can be chic, but not on Hillary Clinton. And I'm not wearing a pantsuit for somebody named Hillary Clinton. Um, so I hope Princess Kate escapes the royals, but she's in on it. They're all in on it. They're all in on it. They. I had this argument today because, unfortunately, John thinks that the football community with Taylor Swift's boyfriend, Travis, whatever his name is, Kelsey, or don't come after me if I say it wrong. So he feels that we're literally talking and he's like, well, I don't think they're all in on it. I don't think they're all in on it. I said, no, they're in on it. And he's like, I don't think they're all in it. And I'm like, he goes, well, unless it's a club. And I'm like, you mean like MS-13 or the Violent Boys or the Korean Mafia or the Viet Vietnamese Mafia, whatever they call it? I'm like, this is not a club. It's a club of money. It's a club of money. They want money and they're going to do anything to have the money, the almighty dollar. And it is a club. So do you have a bed from you? No, she sleeps on the couch. She's fine there. She sleeps on these chairs. She comes with me. She sleeps on the couch at night in front of the heater. Um, it's a cult. I was trying to say it. And he's like, not, not all sports people. I'm like, absolutely. The ones that you watch. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Anna Nicole, I knew, you know that. And, um, she came to me after her son died and she couldn't trust anybody in her life. She couldn't trust a man. She couldn't trust anything. She couldn't trust any. She said that to me. Okay. Like literally said that to me. Marilyn was murdered. That was obvious to me as a child because they said they found 50 Nebutal or Nebulol or whatever pills in her stomach. Nobody is swallowing 50 fucking pills without a glass of water, but there was no water. Oh my God. Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift, Bobby knew Anna too. Bobby worked in that circle as well. Um, Bobby on here. And yes, of course, you're not going to get, you're, you're going to get gang banged off the planet. River Phoenix murdered by, yeah, it's all rigged. They want you to feel like you need to look like them. I don't want to look like a Kardashian. They were born, I think Kim was attractive, but most of them in that family were born a particular way. Looking, they do not look like themselves. I don't want to be in a world like that. This is my face and you see what you get. Um, That's it. So, of course, we know who had freaking... River Phoenix killed and who gave him a hot shot, hot pill, hot shot, whatever it was. Obviously, Kurt Cobain. Come on, you guys. Come on. Come on. You th I, Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. David Geffen. Oh, my God. Geffen. Oh, my God. Geffen. Okay. Keep saying. <laughs> David Geffen. Okay. Start everybody looking into David Geffen. Him and who's that terrible guy, that country singer, Garth Brooks. Garth Brooks got some serial behavior I don't like. Do you know what I'm talking about with that? Do you know what I'm... Yeah. Yes, you did know Anna in there. Yes, Bobby did. Bobby and I have Anna Nicole stories. Um, and Bobby was in Texas at the time. So Jennifer Hudson is disgusting. Like when you know what she did and you, you can't unsee it. You can't unsee it. So you just can't. Heath Ledger, absolutely. What, Mary Kate Olsen was there? She just popped up the handler. She had to clean it up. Yeah, Allison Chains. Yeah, my dad worked with Geffen. Hold on, hold on. I want to see. My dad worked with Geffen. I didn't want to meet him. Good, Gemini Gypsy. Yeah, Geffen started in the mailroom, but suddenly he's a gazillionaire. A gazillionaire. Gazillion. Because all of us that start in the mailroom, Regis Philman used to do that line of bullshit too. Well, I started in the mailroom. I had a mail packet in the mailroom, and I delivered mail, and they saw me. And they just said, my God, you're so fucking talented. And then they hired me. No, no. You were agreeable to what they needed you to do at the time. And that's how you got in there. Okay, Garth Brooks. How come everywhere BS story? What's BS story? Yeah, BS story. Yeah. Garth Brooks, everywhere he goes like Geffen back in the 70s and 80s in Chicago. 
Chester Bennington straight out told me he did not kill himself. Chester Bennington is the strongest spirit I've ever channeled in my life. And he stood directly in front of me. I did not kill myself. Absolutely showed me the Irish beer. And you know where we're going. It's on the video from like five years ago. But you met George Michael. Yes. Is Prince Harry gay or bi? I'm sure. I, I don't I mean, I don't know what to say about that. Chester Bennington absolutely, absolutely did not kill himself, okay? I don't care if you call me crazy. I don't fucking care. Yeah, he did not. Jamie has disappeared. Oh, Jamie contacted me a couple... It was after Keith died. I couldn't really focus. It was after Dew died and uh, Chester's son got a hold of me. <sighs> wonder if I have that email still. Anyway, yeah, and now I'm twitching again. But anyway, Matthew Perry, no, I don't like Matthew Perry because number one, I think he's evil, which he was. Um, that's my opinion, looking at his energy. But I don't like the way that he was, okay? And number two, what did Jennifer Hudson do? Her whole family died before she got an Oscar. You don't think that that's coincidence, do you? Coinky Quin dink, Seinfeld, Seinfeld rep rep reference. There are no coincidences. Just everybody in her family was killed. It's called a sacrifice. That's how greedy that girl is, okay? Yes, Isaac Cappy. Oh my God, is it Isaac Cappy's birthday? Shit. I can now talk on that lawsuit. I have been dropped from that lawsuit. I fought four of the five charges. Tracy Twyman. Okay, and Isaac Cappy, a.k.a. she was friends with him. I asked to be dropped from the case with, with prejudice, which means they cannot come after me again. Tracy Twyman did not take her own life. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Oh, my God. Anyway, yeah, I'm out of that one. So I just don't believe it, and I'm going to say that. I'm just going to say it. That fucker sued me and tried to get money. And I'm going to tell you all, when you're in entertainment and they sue you like that, here's what you do. Here's what you do. Here's what you do. Number one, do not get a lawyer. Do everything pro se, okay? The reason you do it pro se is because you don't need to waste your money with a lawyer. You don't need permission from your fucking lawyer to do that. Write what you want. Bobby helped me a lot. John helped me a lot. Bobby helped me with stuff, how to word it. And Lucas, Lucas ran, Lucas printed a whole bunch of papers for me because my machine wasn't um, working and, you know, whatever. Okay, first of all, both Isaac Cappy and Tracy Twyman were exposing pedophiles in the entertainment industry. Isaac Cappy was doing, I mean, his shit's been scrubbed right off the internet. Why the hell are they taking this shit down for? He was 100% right about Tom Hanks. And Steven Spielberg. And on and on it goes, okay? So what happened to him is I was talking to Bobby. This is at, and Bobby told me not to answer the door when I got served. She's like, don't answer the door. I'm like, my camera's broken. <laughs> and I opened the door. And then what was even weirder is some exterminator guy came to the door and he had a like a pen and he's like, ah, uh, do you need exterminating? This is at the old place. And so I go to Bobby, that's really weird, right? So anyway, um, Tom Petty, yes, chasing the white rabbit in his videos, call it adrenochrome. Yeah, you, you drink blood much, you bitch. Can't look at their videos. I told you all the way back to It's a Wonderful Life, whatever. No, you're not muted. Nobody's muted. Maybe YouTube doesn't like this. Yeah, Isaac Cappy. So I'm talking to Bobby. John and I went to Arizona. We went to Flagstaff and had lunch unbeknownst to me at the restaurant where Isaac Cappy and Tracy Twyman exchanged information. Then we drove and I mistakenly said the bridge that Isaac Cappy forced himself off. Okay. Forced himself off. Okay. Whatever. Um, Harvey the Invisible. That's exactly right. That's adrenochrome chasing the dragon. Fuck these people. Anyway, so Isaac Cappy's on the bridge. We've got a video of him coming out of the 7-Eleven or whatever the store is. Don't quote me on the store, okay? 
but he's perfectly fine on the video cam. And then suddenly he's on the edge of the bridge like this is eyes are going da, 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 like he's hypnotized. I'm driving home and I'm talking to Bobby and I'm like, scopolamine. And Bobby's like, what? what? And I'm like, devil's breath. They blew it in his face. So look up scopolamine. I've been through this. So he jumped off of the bridge himself under some kind of something, influence of scopolamine. Jay-Z will be exposed. I'm going to do a video on that one. Yeah, pushed, whatever. And then Tracy Twyman was beat up two months before two months before, I guess two months before Isaac Cappy died. I might be wrong on the timing. Um, mind control could have been that too. Um, Cappy and Ty Twyman met and they exchanged pedophile information. Now, Tracy's a public figure and she's been talking about this for years, right? So yeah, look it up. In, in Colombia, they do it quite a bit to extort money and stuff. So, oh yeah, I've got to do the video on the Idaho Force. Thank you. I can't keep my head straight. So anyway, um, Tracy was beat up by the Grand Canyon in a camping resort that's since been closed before she got back to her house, right? And then suddenly, two months after Isaac Cappy, she suicided herself. And then on the court papers that I have, her relative, who was suing me, who I didn't even know she was married at the time, decided... To fucking say, this was, this was in the paperwork. I am disgusted and sickened that our legal system entertained this and shame the fuck on them for doing it. I'm not joking you. On the paperwork, here's what it said. On the paperwork. I've got old mascara. Here's what it said. It said, before she died, Miss Twyman was a Trump supporter, a QAnon believer, and something else, and having a psychotic break from schizophrenia. She was 41 with an 11-year-old son. She was having none of that. I'm not a doctor, but I'm going to say no to that. That's on the court papers I received. When they wrote the article on me in, the, um, in Forbes magazine, they wrote it saying that I was a goofball QAnon follower, Trump, yeah, Trump supporter person. And I'm like, is this what you do to fucking win your argument? You will never win. You will never win. Yes, Baphomet is their god, the god of transcendent. Exactly. Yeah, Forbes, fuck Forbes. Exactly. That's what they wrote about me. And I'm like, I do not fight. No, look it up. Psychic, psychic talks to dead person lawsuit. It's on there. Um, I handled it myself because some of the people in the lawsuit, the first thing, and this goes out to some of the people that I know there, what am I going to say who? You have to answer everything they say to you. So when they send you paperwork, even if you don't know what the fuck you're answering, you have, I know, she's like just staring back there. You have to literally answer them. So when they say, you know, you're guilty of whatever things, you have to write the court back, whether you put it in a mail as a pro se person. I went online and started doing my stuff on docu documents and adding them to the court, okay? You can't ignore it because they will put, like I was being sued for 200000 or something. They will put that onto your bill when you don't answer. Always answer. Do not be afraid of these courts. Do not be afraid of them. And my last answer in the court was I'll see you in court and I'll speak for my fucking self. They're not going to intimidate me. You're not going to intimidate me. I would say get a lawyer if you've murdered somebody, but if you're answering a question, I, I, you don't need a lawyer. You're allowed to speak for yourself. The lawyers charge some of the people 20,000 before it even in the first four months, in the first four months, in the first four months, I'm not going to do that. You're not going to fucking mortgage my house. You're not going to, you're not, I'm not doing that. Okay. I'm not fucking doing that. You're going to deal with me and my ignorance about the law because they, the, his lawyer kept saying, you can get a lawyer pro per pro and uh, not pro per pro bono. I'm like, I don't want a lawyer because I have more latitude 
as a pro se person. Why should I spend my money when you're fucking suing me on a frivolous lawsuit? Why should I spend my money? You spend your money. And then what did this idiot do? He wanted us all to reimburse him for his lawyer's fees. So I wrote that. I don't fucking owe you. I didn't do anything. I didn't hire her and I didn't sue me. Oh my God. So never, never fall for that. Don't do that. Yeah. Yeah, no, don't do it. Don't do it. No, don't do it. Make them sue you. Show up in court. Your honor. This. Tell your story. You might not win, but you won't have mortgaged your house. That's what they come after, your property. And then, and then, there were the Arizona witches, as Bobby and I call them, who came after me all over on YouTube and did hours of videos talking about how ugly I was, like a horse face and all kinds of shit. When this bitch has an ugly ass girlfriend and bullshit, and they're the ones that wrote shit about Tracy Twyman, and were the last people to see her, and they're fucking, these are my teeth, by the way. I've chipped them a bit, and so I have to file them. I don't like that they're not the way they used to be, but they're my teeth. Except this one isn't. And I got one right there. Those two are not. <laughs> They're caps. Um, but yeah, I don't believe in fixing your teeth. I Thank you for the super chats, y'all. Thank you. Um, yeah, genetic. Keithy and I had the same teeth. Jason and John got the same teeth. Um, but absolutely, do you think... Okay. I. Oh my God. Okay. JFK Jr. JFK Jr. You know how they keep saying he's alive? You know how they keep saying he's alive? Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. I went down this rabbit hole because I don't think that the JFK Jr. that we saw that was so beautiful, like his eye keeps closing. Anyway, I keep saying that. I've got to go. I've got to figure out how to fix this. Anyway. Yes. JFK Jr. They keep saying he's alive. He's alive. Well, they're correct. He's alive, but it's not JFK Jr. It's not the one that we know that died in the plane crash. That was an imposter. Yeah. Go down that rabbit hole. So JFK Jr., the real Kennedy family, they kidnapped that kid. That kid, and they put imposters in their place. That kid may be alive, but the JFK Jr. that we saw, that we know as JFK Jr. playing sports all over New York with his shirt off, that Marla the Virgin fucked on Seinfeld, that one. That JFK Jr.? <laughs> That one, he is a different JFK Jr. Yes, go down that rabbit hole. You'll be like, that's why they're saying he's alive. Most of us think it's like JFK Jr. Hot guy on rollerblades in, you know, uh, in the park in New York. No, JFK Jr., the true one, was a blonde boy. Did anybody wonder about... How good looking JFK Jr. was compared to his parents? I'm just asking. Don't fucking hate me for it. Don't hate me for it. Did anybody wonder that? Because like, where did that come from? I went down that rabbit hole and I went, oh my God. Okay, I don't know if it's true or not, but it was so interesting. I can't help the buffering. Yes. I know I love Tallulah too. Hi, Lou. You want to come say hi? I know. She's so cute. Um, hi, baby. Oh, she's grabbing me. She's so mad at mommy. Mommy wasn't home. Mommy wasn't home and she tried to grab me with her little paws. Lou, come on. Lou, come on. She's under my chair now. She will not come up. Yes, I wonder, right? James Spader. <laughs> James Spader. Garth Brook is a geffen. Everywhere, I could not understand how Garth Brooks, you know how they always tell you Mick Jagger was a school teacher? Shut up. Garth Brooks was a marketer. Shut up. Okay? You know, like, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Anyway, Garth Brooks, everywhere he goes, people go missing. What's that about? Where do these people go everywhere he has a concert? Where? Do these people go where? David Geffen, do you know? Does Geffen know? I'm just asking. It's just hypothetical. Just asking. Yes, exactly. Garth Brooks. Yes, 
Yes, yes. Yeah, they always say it's conspiracy. Ice Spice. I don't even know who that ugly ass bitch is. But I mean, like, I don't even know. I, I can't. She did the devil horns. I saw her. I saw her do the devil horns. So again, at lunch, John and I get into an argument over that. John's like, well, if you can go to Catholic church, which I don't, he does. But if you can go to church, then she can do that. She's just doing her belief system, just like the rosary. And I'm like, yeah, okay. Which technically he's right. He's right. Right? But Ice Spice is just gross. Gross. Gross, gross. He didn't look like a Kennedy. Kennedy, the dad, was ugly. They killed him, so you know he must have been somewhat good. But Kennedy, the dad, was, a, I mean, they're not really attractive people. Yes, I do think Taylor Swift is a genetic mutation or genetic particles of uh, whatever LaVey's daughter, Anton LaVey's daughter. Yes, it's obvious to me. So what they do is they take bits and pieces of your genetic structure or your gene, co your gene code coding and people with money, like Taylor Swift's family, they are picked to house these babies. That's right. That's right. That is right. Absolutely. I know. They're always like the Swifties. The Swifties. Why are you a fucking Swiftie? You don't have a goddamn mind of your own. Why don't you be a you person? So that's what they do. They pick families to do it. Like Obama's kids are wherever. You heard, um, oh my God, what the hell is his name? <sighs> Who was with Paris Hilton growing up? Who was with Paris Hilton? Um, Nicole Richie. Uh, Lionel Richie. Say, Lionel Richie said that he adopted his daughter from somebody that worked on his band. Why? What was that about? What was that about? So interesting, isn't it? Nicole Richie. Yeah. Michael Obama. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jackie. Wait, how is Jackie? Oh, a man. Okay. First of all, I'm going to explain this. Lumerian goddess. I love Lumerian stones. They're fabulous. You can get DNA coding off them. Okay. So when they say somebody is a man, which Barbara Bush was a man, <laughs> <laughs> throw another thing at you so you think I'm crazy. I want you to understand that when these people in the elite upper echelon of our society, the controllers, okay, the controllers, not us, we're peons. When the controllers decide that they're going to have a child, they can put hormones when the mother's pregnant. Now, if you do crack when you're pregnant, your baby's going to have a problem, okay? If you inject yourself with steroids when you're pregnant, your baby's going to have a problem. When people in America and Canada inject, I'm not injected, swallowed a pill called thalidomide, they had a problem with their fetuses when they were born as children. So imagine being pregnant, just like they check the placenta, not the placenta, the amniotic fluid, by sticking a needle through your pregnant belly and scooping out fluid, do you not think, okay, do you not think they can put hormones to invert you? So you're in the uterus and you're going to be a little boy, okay? So you're going to be a little boy. But the elite doctors put something in the mom, in the hormone system, that means you're a pretty looking boy because they're trying to make you masculine so that you're inverted. They consider that a delicacy in their religion or whatever. So you're inverted, right? But you come out, you look like Jacqueline Kennedy. I'm just using her as an example because I've never really thought much about her except that her eyes were like on the side of her head. Like she was radiation poisoned or something. Um, anyway, when you look at it, when you look at it, right? You understand that to them, they like that because God's people, I'm making sure you're talking to the right person. Who would you be talking to? What does that mean? Hold on, Lemarian. What are you talking about? I'm just making sure I'm talking to the right person. 
What do you mean? This is me. How could it not be me? That's Is that what you mean? There's tons of fake people on TikTok, and I have to get a lawyer for that because you know this is me. <laughs> this is in my house. You know my set. Like, who else is going to be in my house? Anyway, YouTube to wake you up. Yeah, exactly. So, oh, oh, Jackie. Oh, oh okay. Wait a second, love. Talking about, I'm making sure talking about the right Jackie. Oh, I'm talking about Jacqueline Onassis. You're talking about Jackie O, oh, the one that died in plastic surgery. I'm thinking. Okay, we'll skip that. Whichever person that you have, okay? The tsunami hit the States. Yeah, that'll be interesting. I'm not afraid of anything. We're all going to die, so die. Yes, they they invert them in utero, and they love doing that. Then they, look at look at the youngest Kardashians or, or um, Jenners or whatever they are. Look at them. Just look at them, right? I had steroids pregnant, had two girls. Well, I'm sure you had girls. It's different kinds of steroids. I think they're, I think you're talking about breathing steroids and stuff. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about actually what weightlifters use and shit, adding more hormones. Now, this is interesting. I grew up with a best friend in Toronto. I had several. We had a little group. Anyway, long story short, her dad was kicked out of two countries, possibly three, ended up in Bermuda, okay? She, the dad was in Japanese internment camps and he was a doctor. So I grew up with this kid and we were best friends. When Keith was about two and a half, I kind of felt her in Los Angeles. Weird story. Called my mom and my mom said she, she ran into her dad in Florida, but then her dad was kicked out of America for the shit he was doing. So gave me the dad's number and I called the dad, right? And then he said his daughter was in L.A. This is when we had beepers. Beepers. So I beeped the number and she came to visit. Now I'm reading her chart. I'm reading her chart. And I'm like, because I never had her chart. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, were you transgendered? Like I've known her my whole life. I've known her since kindergarten. Okay. And I was, we were in our 30s at this time. Or Keithy was too. So I was in my early 30s. I said, were you transgendered? Seriously, because I'm, I'm looking at the chart and John's listening and she says, my dad tried to do, her dad's a doctor now and he was in an internment camp, kind of like a Nazi camp, but for Japanese, right? And she's like, my dad tried to make us boys, her and her sister. This came out of her mouth. I saw it in the chart, but I didn't understand what I was reading. I just knew it was a transgender. Like I thought maybe she was that way. So... Her dad had tried it. Now, both the kids he tried it on were damaged in the way that they think. You know what I mean? In the way that they think. So, you know, true. she was my best friend. And as a kid, she just smiled all the time. Like, she never didn't smile like this. <laughs> like this. I was like, what the fuck is she? Because I was dying in my house growing up. But she would come to stay at my house and thought my house was cool. So God knows what was going on in her house because my house was a nightmare. But... Um, anyway, you know, so much is so fucked. It's so fucked up. But she told me that and she was homeless by the time I found her here. She had been homeless. So, um, we lost touch and I'll tell you how we lost touch. I'll tell you a true story. <laughs> so I asked John if she could stay with us because I knew her since she was a kid. Right. And, um, so she moved into Jimmy's room. My kids were there and, um, because she was homeless a lot, there was an, kind of an odor, okay? So I said, help yourself to anything in the fridge, whatever you want, come and go as you please. And that's all I said. But she left her laundry for me to do. And that's where I drew the line. I'm like, John's like, you could get up and feed her. And I'm like, I'm not eating right now. She can go in the fridge. Like, I'm not going to do that. I'm not catering. I already catered. You're in my house. So... Yes, I did find her. Yes, I grew up with her in Toronto. We grew up in Lawrence Park and I found her down here. She was homeless in Santa Monica. Yes, I felt her in my stomach. It's hard. So that's when I called my mom and said, I've been feeling my friend. I'm going to say her name. She changed her name anyway. But, um, and then I called our other mutual friend and said, oh my God, guess who's here? So yeah, no, seriously. I, I had texted, not texted, pardon me, called her dad and he had given me the her beeper number because all she had was a beeper so I 
put the number. It was the LA number she called back. I mean, you know, and I said, oh my God. So then I said to John, can she live in our house? And she did, but she left calling me a bad mom and a bad wife. But I wouldn't do her laundry. Um, I won't do your laundry. Like if you, I just won't. I can't. Like I'll do a child's laundry. And if I'm with you and we're hiking and you spill something, I'll do your laundry like that. Like I'll put it in, but I can't. I, I just, I can't. No, sorry. I cannot. Sorry. So anyway, um, that's what happened. Let's see. What's, what is Sloan Bella's sign? Okay. The follower. Um, okay. I'm a triple Leo. Sorry. It's offensive. Um, yeah, you're grown up. Do your own fucking laundry. I have a problem with that. I'm not here to caretake your ass. Like, no. Um, but anyway, I loved her. That's not the point. And I never spoke to her again. She left a really, I think I still have the message on the tape. She's like, you're this, you're that, you're fucking terrible mother, you're fucking terrible wife. I mean, <laughs> and I was like, all right, I'm still not doing your laundry. <laughs> yeah, well you do, but like it was, it was, it was pants and it was period blood and I'm not doing it. I will not be doing that. Now, if you're my kid, I did my kid's laundry. Who, me not doing the laundry? Yeah, no, I just couldn't do the laundry. I'm sorry. I just couldn't. And she put it on the floor in the laundry room. I just fucking couldn't. That's the truth. And I was having a nervous breakdown. I had postpartum. Keithy was like two and a half. Jimmy had just died. So I probably was a raving bitch. Um, I could hardly keep myself focused, okay? Like I was out of my mind. Um, that was the issue, though. I draw the line. But my children, I Jason could come here. I would do his laundry right now. Kenna could come here. I would do her laundry. They're my children, okay? They're my children. Uh, but other people, like if you're if you're incapacitated, but if you can get in your fucking car and drive and go buy drugs and do this and do that, then you can do your own fucking laundry. Just saying, okay? Um, <laughs> it's funny. Anyway, whoever asked my sign, I let, let, let's see, what let you know that in her chart? Oh, okay. She had, if I remember correctly, it was an aspect between Uranus and Neptune and the moon in the eighth house, if I remember correctly. And it was an op, it was kind of seventh, eighth. I don't know. It just struck me. When I read a chart though, I go psychic on it too. Um, I'm a, yeah, I'm a Leo. I'm a triple Leo, sun, moon, and rising and Mercury. Okay. In the 12th house and then Venus, Mars, and Jupiter on the 12th house cusp. So I'm Leo cancer and it's all in the Pisces house. Aquarius Pisces house, 11th, 12th, but it's 11th conjunct stellium. Exactly. Clarissa. Good. Yeah. And it's conjunct the 12th house. Then I have Pluto and Uranus in the first house in Virgo, 29 degree Leo ascendant. Then I have Neptune on the fourth house cusp, childhood, and I have Saturn in the eighth. That should explain everything to you. All right. So there, <laughs> when you, <laughs> that should let you know. Um, Sloan, did she ever end up having kids? I don't know. I, I would have been in my 30s. I have no idea. I know her sister moved out of the country and they had very different ways of expressing it and it were broken. And it's like the dad did that though. He gave both his daughters drugs to make them masculine. That's what she said. Do I know if it's true? No, I don't. But when I heard that, it now makes sense because anybody that was in World War II, anybody that was in internment camps, all of that, all of that shit is where they practice this stuff. Let me see if the volume's up. Yeah, the volume's up, y'all. Um, that's my Walmart denim jacket. Absolutely. Absolutely. fucking -lutely. I love that jacket. See, your mom gave you estrogen at 13. All of these Illuminati, uh, ruling elite, whatever they are, inverted whack jobs, they'll call me. They think I don't know who they are, but they'll call me and they're like, my daughter is in menopause and hasn't gotten her period. That's because she's your son that you inverted and has to be on hormones her whole life, you asshole. Okay, there I said it. Doing it wrong. <laughs> exactly. I don't know. I don't know about Kate Middleton, who's a 723. Um, yeah. Okay, Barbara Bush. It's my favorite topic because I cannot stop talking about it. 
Lou's sneaking out. She's sneaking to go get her treats in the kitchen. Science experiments. Yes. Yes. That's all we are. Um, Barbara Bush is, okay, so Barbara Bush's mother back in the 1920s was in Europe and ran into one Alistair Crowley, okay? I listen online and they say Alistair Crowley, which is interesting because I've always called him Alistair Crowley, but I make up names and shit. Anyway, my generation calls him that. So Alistair Crowley was doing his sex magic and all of that bullshit. No, seriously. And Barbara Bush's mother was one with her roommate of his assistance during the ritual magic, sexual magic. Yeah. She came back from England and France, and I'm not sure where they, he was over there. She came back pregnant. Okay. She came back pregnant. Alistair Crowley went on to be roommates with Jack Parsons and L. Ron Hubbard. And therefore, we have Scientology and Jet Propulsion Lab. NASA, you get what I'm saying? So they are all of that energy. So Barbara Bush came back. Yes, David Geffen and Keanu Reeves. I knew that before I moved here from Toronto. Anyway, um... I know I'm not inverted because I videotaped my children coming out of my body. So, um, yes, he was. He was, exactly. Prince also had 29 degree Leo MC. Interesting. I didn't know that. I can't remember his chart off the top of my head. Um, what, said the hype about him was wrong? Aleister Crowley is nothing. This is how he presented himself to the world and people chose to believe it. It's like having a guru and calling them a fucking guru. Are they a guru? I don't know. So anyway, Aleister Crowley did do sex magic. That is factual. And sex, there's Tallulah. And sex magic, his assistants were Barbara Bush's mother and her roommate, whoever that was. Then... Barbara Bush's dad was Remington Guns, who sold all the guns to Hitler during World War II and then bought back all the fluoride, if I'm correct on that. So anyway, this baby's born around 1927, Barbara Bush. I want you to look at her. I want you to go get her old picture so you can see what inversion is. I want you to look at how long her arms are. I want you to understand that Bush Sr. was over six feet tall. And we have this clod of a woman who's the first lady in the White House, always wearing pearls around her neck like this. <laughs> like that. I want you to look at that fucking woman. Then I want you all. Yes, Carmen, you know it. I love Carmen. They are German. Yeah, well, I'm a Viking from Norway and like, no, come on now, stop. Anyway, long story short, Barbara Bush did a video with um, Larry King, the old lizard Larry King, right? And, and President Bush, her kid, not the father, not the husband. And <laughs> she talks about the fetus the dead baby fetus in a jar. So Larry King actually asked her this question. Dr. So-and-so gave you back your miscarried baby. Yeah. She talks about it. Now, what you don't, un there, Michelle's five foot two. What you don't understand, okay? What, yay for Vikings, Deanna Sherry Amor. That makes sense. Viking, Irish, and, uh, me too, I'm Irish, and I think you said French, somewhere in there. Anyway, Barbara Bush actually is on Larry King Live, a talk show in the old generation, saying, I kept the fetus in a jar, and that's what I showed little Georgie Bush when this bitch was a teenager and he was going to knock someone up. <laughs> I looked at that, her eyes are going like this, I'm like, this bitch does not know what she's saying. Why is that okay? Have have you ever, have you ever been able to take your miscarried baby home with you? Yes, you are, Bobby. Have you ever been able to take your miscarried baby home with you? I'm just asking. You should be able to take it home with you because it's your body tissue. But they very rarely that I can tell 
fucking give you the dead fetus and say, here, keep it in a fucking jar. That's a ritualistic sacrifice on the altar. They have an altar in the pearl necklace. She is a man, okay? She may not know she's a man, but that is not a woman. If that's a woman and the president word, no, go look it up. It's there for everybody to see. Fetus in a jar, interview Larry King. Just Google it. Larry King, Barbara Bush, George Bush, fetus in a jar. Let's look it up right now, y'all. The reason, like I know I cover my neck because like I'm getting all this age shit here and I hate it. And I have weird discoloration right here because I wear a ball cap hiking and the sun gets, it doesn't get me right there, but it gets me everywhere else. So I wear, I get the turtleneck, I get the necklace thing, but I want you to listen to her speaking. Google George Bush Sr. and Barbara Bush younger doing speeches. Listen to it. Listen. Listen to it. Listen to her talking like <laughs> they mock women. Yes, did Bush. I'm sure he did. They Bush Sr., biggest pedo. Bush, President Bush Sr., a thousand lights, a thousand. Shut up, Bush Sr. A thousand lights refers to the castle in Belgium where they do all of the sacrificing. That bitch up there on stage was sitting, was sitting there in our faces, shoving bullshit down our throats, okay? I love pearls too, but I'm saying, look at them on her. So, George Bush Sr., prolific pedo, prolific, prolific pedo. And do you really think that Bush Sr., like they tried to bullshit you, jumped out of a plane at 97 or whatever he was? Do you think like that? Do you think that? I think your voice, probably it is. Anyway, um, yeah, so they show themselves all the time on <laughs> Clown Town, right? I know all, all, I know they wear pearls. Look at her neck behind the pearls. That's what I'm telling you to look at. Look at strategically where the strand of pearls is placed. Don't tell me that's a woman. Don't tell me that's a woman. If yes, Bush Sr., the biggest pedophile. Yes. Google about the 1979 um gay prostitute of underage children in the White House and the two boys that spoke out against Bush Sr. He liked darker skin. What did I tell you? Brown skin babies and boys. Yes. Okay. Let's look at fetus in a jar. You know I love to post this. This this sets me off like a five-year-old. <laughs> okay, Larry King. Um, Larry King. Ah, uh, Barbara Bush explains baby in a bottle. Does she now? <laughs> okay. Let's see. Barbara Bush. Yeah, see, they're blocking all the videos. Go Google it, though. Go Google it. Go Google it, Larry King. Um, she feels very unwell. She, you know, honestly, I don't know what to say. Not very human, if that's what you mean. Yeah, I remember, totally watched Fetus in a Jar. It's fucking hilarious. Alistair in a wig with pearls. Thank you. No, they have, look at Beyonce. Did Beyonce give birth? No. You saw her baby bump and it, it crunched. I was pregnant. I couldn't bend my belly. I couldn't drive between the car. Come on now. Paul Benaki. Yes, yes, yes. Paul Benaki. You know, I've been thinking so much about that little Johnny Gosh. And there were like, let's see, Rick James told you all cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> yeah. I love Rick James, but Rick James had a sex slave and kept himself high on crack. And he was my age when he died of a heart attack from the crack. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, Boys Town. Oh my God, Father, what's his name? Yes, Boys. Yeah, Beyonce, I mean, the baby bump, she sat down and it creased. It doesn't do that. Like, I've been pregnant. You know what I mean? Um, I, I don't know what the note was. I've been pregnant, so I know your belly does not do that. Yeah, the kids just don't like her and Jay-Z don't. Yeah. I think Blue Ivy is probably a synthetic. I know. 
I've now crossed over to crazy. Um, Franklin cover-up is totally fucking real. Paul Bonacchi was pimped out. Johnny Gosh, I know they say is alive and I know his mother did, but I don't feel that way. Um, Mrs. Doubtfire. Yes, it's just ridiculous. Uh, please read. Yes, Johnny Gosh, mother to mother. I know. I feel, I was thinking about Johnny Gosh. It sickens me. It just, it fucking sickens me. It sickens me. It sickens me. Um, yeah, it's sick. It just sickens me. Okay, is it true? Okay, what? Tell me. What about Kelly Osborne? Tell me. Because I haven't heard that yet. I don't know what we're talking about. Uh, let me see. Blue Ivy is their kid. I, I don't know who is whose kid or who isn't a kid. I do know that your kids don't always come out looking like you. Can look like the other parent or a grandparent or all that. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Swears. That, wait, 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 wait. Swears that when Beyonce was pregnant... She was there. Yeah. Okay. I, they tell you that? That's a great thing. They, what a great thing. There are no such thing as conspiracy theories. Some people are just early. Yes. Yes, Johnny Gosh's mom. Poor Johnny Gosh's mom. That... Fam but understand, someone took a payout there. The dad was not with the kid, and the mom said, you got to go. So I don't know about that, but funny how kids look more like their grandparents. Yes, yes. I don't know who you're talking about. I get defensive. <laughs> yeah, the nurse. I, I, I'm just going to say, I saw Beyonce's stomach bend. You're not pregnant when you bend like that. Your body cannot bend like that. Your body does not bend like that. Dad was asleep. Yes, dad went with him every other week. Did dad take a payoff and let the kid go out on his own? They targeted Johnny Gosh. You know that. His friend said that, right? They targeted him. So the other friend was there and they targeted. They went after. Johnny didn't have a good feeling and went to go home and cross the street and they ran. They got him. They got him, not his little friend, right? So I, I just, you can't like, oh, God. I don't like King Charles. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't like King Charles. Come on now. Um, yes, Barbara, but love child. Crowley, Crowley died broke, bisexual, and a pedophile. Like, that's what you want to put on your shirt as Aleister Crowley. I don't care what kind of high magic he did, what kind of fuckery he was up to. He fucked children through his own admission. That's it. I'm sure they are. Yeah, I'm sure they love trans women. Let's see. Are some of the big young influence synthetic? They might be synthetics. I think that's a very good observation. Observation. I think they could very well be. I know I'm glitching. I'm going to go off tonight. What about Elizabeth Taylor? No clue. KC, definite. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm going to go, you guys. Jimmy Seville. Oh, my God. I just got tired. Boom. Got to go to sleep. I look forward to your next reading on Kim Porter. You guys are funny. I have to start doing videos you guys, he had a, if Aleister Crowley had a micro, they, so does Brad Pitt. If you're talking about penises, the reason they do that is when they invert them, they're not going to grow a big penis. They're going to grow what a woman grows when she's a bodybuilder, which is a small penis part, point, whatever. I can't go there. I can't, I can't, I, I just, I can't. Yeah, I can't. I don't like micro penises just so we're very clear. So there. <laughs> <laughs> okay uh these are opals or i'm sorry these are opals this is um shungite with moldavite on it and this is beads with a mushroom that my friend Susie made and i don't think the beads are of any crystal they're just cute with a little mushroom on it it's a christmas gift um cleopatra oh my god okay bye you guys Cleopatra, get a roommate, please. Why would I get a roommate? <laughs> why Why do I want a roommate? I don't, again, again. I don't want a roommate. I don't want to co-sign. I don't want to do any of that. 
So yeah, I don't need a roommate. <laughs> I just need to get closer to my grandkids. That's what I need. Okay, you guys, peace out. Good night, Freddie Prince Sr. I remember. Synthetic is kind of like a clone, but it is a genetically engineered human husk. Genetically engineered human husk. The husk houses the soul. They don't have souls, but they steal our consciousness and put the consciousness... No, Trump is not moving to Russia. Jesus. They put our consciousness into the husk. It's not a clone. It's not electronic. It's actually genetically. So it's a little bit different. It's synthetic. I don't know. I call them synthetics different than that. That's what I call them. Okay. Bye, you guys. Have a good night. I will see you. I will do my laundry, but I will not get a roommate. Blade Runner. Yes. Kind of does, huh? Exactly. Exactly. And when they fry your mind enough, you end up with dementia. Speaking of Blade Runner, wait. Wasn't Bruce in Blade Runner? I can't remember. Or was that Arnold? I'm so confused. Anyway, bye, you guys. Bye. Have a good night. Peace out, everybody.